Okay, so we're talking about TIGS 5.3H. This time I'm gonna focus on adding fractions. Let's look at this picture, okay? Because sometimes you will get only a picture. So we're combining these two set of fractions. This is a fraction and this one's a fraction. Let's figure out first, let's label to figure out each one. How many total pieces do I have up here on the top? One, two, three. So three will be my denominator because that's my total pieces. Okay. Of the total, how many pieces are shaded? One, two. So this becomes two thirds because the numerator is my total shaded and my denominator is my total pieces. So in other words, two thirds of this section is shaded. Now my bottom section, how many total pieces do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six. I said total of six pieces, okay? Of that six, how many are shaded? One, two, three. All right, once again, this top or the numerator is my total shaded and the bottom or the denominator is my total pieces. For this problem, I'm gonna use the picture to help me figure it out. What could I do to make these two fractions look the same? Since they're already lined up, all I have to do is make a line in between the two to make them look the same or have the same amount of pieces. So I could just simply do this, do this, and do this. Now they have the same amount of pieces. That means I can change the fractions so that they have the same denominator. Will this one change? No, this will stay the same. This will still be three shaded out of six pieces, okay? So this deal could be three over six. What about this one? What would this change to? Well, how many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I do have the same denominator now. I have six pieces. Of the six, how many are shaded? One, two, three, four. Four out of the six are shaded. So now we have our number sentence. It is four over six plus three over six. Remember guys, we do not add the denominators, only the numerators. So this will remain six as our denominator. What's our numerator? Four plus three equals seven. We know this as an improper fraction. It's improper because the numerator, numerator is larger than the denominator. But we have to change this. We cannot leave it like this. This is how we change it. I'm going to create a picture of six pieces. All right, six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna shade in seven of those pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I only got to six. I need to do seven. So in order to get that last or that one more shading in, I must create another set of six pieces 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and then shading that last one. So now I finally shaded in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, since all of these are shaded, we call that one whole. How many are shaded here? One out of how many total pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be one over six. That means seven over six is the same as one whole and one over six. Okay, this is a video you may have to watch a couple times, but please take your time and review it. Remember guys, when we're adding fractions and we have a picture, remember to first label each one and then see if you can connect or draw the pictures together to create common denominators. If you didn't have a picture, let's say we did not have a picture for this problem, we could work it a different way. I have two thirds plus three over six. If we did not have a picture, we would do the same ND chart. Remember guys, the ND chart helps us to find the common denominators between fractions. My numerator is two. My denominator is three. My numerator is three. My denominator, six. Remember, now we're gonna skip count by the original number. So two, four, six. Skip count by threes. Three, six, nine. Gonna skip count by three. Three, six, nine. Skip count by sixes, six, 12, 18. Now I'm gonna focus on the denominator. Can I find numbers that are, that's on each side, the same number over here and the same number over there? I do. I have six and six. I'm going to circle four fifths and circle three fifths, three six, I'm sorry, three six. Circle four, six, and three six. We have now found our common denominators. So we're gonna change this to four over six, which is here, plus three over six, which is over here. We do not add denominators, so the six stays the same. But we do add the numerator. 4 plus 3 equals 7. All right. So we got the same answer here that we got here. The only difference is that on this one, we use the picture. Here, we use the ND chart. Remember, guys, we would not leave it like this. We would create a picture to change it from an improper fraction to our mixed number. you have any questions, feel free to contact me and please watch this video as many times as you need to. Thank you.